Right, yes, hello, and welcome to Free Vinyl Discovery. Today, we have got an interesting album because at the time of recording, I have not long seen the upload uh, on Tom's channel, William Schmillians, of me doing the police ranking. Uh, this is not the police, uh, but it is the debut album of Sting's solo career, The Dream of the Blue Turtles. Interesting album. This is just, this is Sting, he's doing his own thing, it is very different from The Police. Um, very politically charged, surprisingly, for the tone that he's going for. Um, very much reflective of the Cold War situation that was going on at the time. Um, the album opens with If You Love Someone, Set Them Free, which is just fine. Uh, I enjoyed it more than I thought. Uh, the only song that I knew going in was the um, third track on here, which is called Russians. Um, which is fine. I, I quite like it, but I can see that some people think it's not that great and then the commentary on there is a little bit on the nose and it's not the most sophisticated sound of his. I think he's trying to be a little bit more um, pompous uh, than he needs to be, um, but I relatively enjoy it. Um, Love is the Seventh Wave is a bit different from that, um, but then along comes a political commentary when it comes to Russians and uh, Children's Crusade. Um, it's, the political commentary is a little bit much for me. Um, I do think it's quite interesting. It's a good reflection of the time because obviously the 80s was a very um, turbulent time when it comes to politics between the Americans and the Soviets. It's quite good to have that, but I think maybe he could have reeled it in for my own personal taste. But that's what he wanted to do. Uh, it's definitely a change from the police. I don't know if you can tell, I'm, I'm not seeing this as a very promising start to Sting's career, but I do know that he releases some really lovely songs later on in his career. So I would be curious now to know what the other albums that he released are like. The B-side um, passed rather uh, efficiently. Um, I don't really remember it that well, but it is a very nice sound. The uh, songs sort of flow from one to the other. Uh, it's a very pleasant listening experience, but I didn't get that much out of it in terms of substance. I know what I'm saying will probably be quite controversial for the Mega Sting fans that might have filtered into the channel, but to be honest, I didn't have very high expectations and they were met. It's uh, fine. Am I gonna listen to it again? If I'm honest, probably not. Uh, it's not the kind of album that I'm going to reach to. It's certainly not the best that I've heard. Um, it's down there, I'm afraid. Um, but we're not complaining, right? It's free, who cares? And I do like Sting. Uh, you will have seen on William Schwingham's I Really Do Love The Police. I think he's a really talented songwriter, but I feel as though here he's finding his own feet away from the commercial success that he had for The Police, and you can definitely see where he's going, but he's not there yet. Do you prefer this album over some of the others? Do you have a lot of affection for this? What do you think of Sting? Is Sting vs The Police, who wins? Let me know in the comments below. I'd really be curious to find out what you think and how wrong you think I am. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again next week if I haven't totally put you off.